time, please, I'd call Deputy Adams. Thank you. And I want silence for Deputy Adams. Thank you. Deputy Adams. Taoiseach, the doll will break uh, tomorrow for the Christmas uh, festivities, and most of us will go back to warm homes and to our families. <coughs> and we're the very lucky ones. For many citizens, this Christmas will be especially tough because of your government's austerity policies. And the ESRI assessment of Budget 2013 confirms that once again the poorest have been hit hardest. But it isn't just those who are on the margins who are uh, we brew. The lower and middle income families are not being protected by your government. And this morning we have news at the Bank of Ireland in which the state has a 15 per cent share and which has received nearly five billion of the <coughs> citizens' money is to hike credit card fees by up to four per cent. Now this is a bank and it's just cashing in on people when they're most stretched at Christmas time. And surveys by the credit union movement you will know indicate that people can take up to six months to repay Christmas spending. And many people out there are stuck in the mire, struggling to pay back that accumulated over years. Some people are forced to use credit cards to pay for necessities. I know one woman I was speaking to her just this morning who told me she received a letter from the bank telling her that at her current rate of payment she wouldn't clear her credit card until 2045. So all of this is adding pressure on citizens who are already struggling. So do you agree that the hike in credit card fees is wrong? Have you or your government been in contact with the banks about this? And what steps do you intend to deal with these banks who, through mortgage increases, new income or account fees and credit card fees as announced this morning, what do you intend to do about this? Thank you, Deputy Taoiseach. Um, I understand that the Bank of Ireland announced last October that they intended to introduce a range of, um, of, interest, uh, of, of increases in interest rates with effect from the 18th of December, uh, which, is, uh, which is yesterday and, and today. Uh, the, the credit card purchase interest rate will increase to 17.8% variable APR, classic credit card increase to 19.9% variable APR, and the remaining number of personal credit cards increased by 0.7% APR with effect from the 18th of December. And no increase will be applied to the student credit card, no change to introductory or cash advance variable APRs in Bank of Ireland personal credit cards. I, I, to be honest with you, Deputy Adams, um, the, this bank is owned by private investors with a 15% share by the government. This is an area that is not regulated by government. Uh, I can confirm to you, Deputy Adams, that the government are in constant contact with the regulator here in the central bank uh, in order to ensure that the regulator is happy, that he has the facilities and the authority and the power uh, that he needs in carrying out his duties, which are regulation across the financial sector. Um, it's, it, this is very difficult for many people who have run up a huge, uh, huge bills on credit cards. And really, the point where we want to get to, Deputy Adams, is that when, the, when, our, when our public finances are sorted out and the economy, the economy running the way that it should, and the, um, the indications yesterday in respect of the economic indicators, that for the first time uh, in a number of years, you've had three consecutive quarters of growth. Uh, and the more, uh, the more we can proceed in that direction, the more competition there will be in the, uh, in the, credit, card, in the credit card area. Um, I don't like this. Uh, but then, as I say, government are in constant contact with the regulator. And as I said to you before, I've written to him on a number of occasions saying that if, if the regulator considers uh, that he should have more, uh, more uh, appropriate uh, powers that, he's, that he so determines in doing his job, government will respond to that. But as I say, Deputy Adams, this is a, a bank obviously owned by private investors. We want it to be out there in the market. Um, uh, it's 15 per cent shareholding by the government. This is an area that is unregulated. Deputy Adams? Well, I mean, th this is your usual response when we raise a question about the banking sector. And, and really, you say you can't do anything about it. What you really mean is you won't do anything uh, about it. And we have a situation, for example, last night, where just at 11 o'clock you rush through this uh, family home tax. Rush through, I think there were over 80 amendments. Only one amendment was taken. The Sorry, Deputy, that's a separate issue. Sorry, Gumbel. It's a separate issue. 
Separate issue? Yeah. Well, but supplementary question to, to. Well, I'm coming to the question, Kieran Cody. I'll be a curse jock or I'm sorry. So, the point I'm making is that there is one rule for the banking sector and another, room, another rule for the citizens. And this is the bank's Christmas present. And your family home tax is the government's Christmas present. And you say you can't do anything about all of this. For example, have you spoken to the public interest directors? I understand this government has done nothing. I got a, a written response from the Minister of Finance. Uh, you're aware this government has not appointed any public interest directors to the boards of the covered banks since taking office. Blah, 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 blah. Now, who, who are the public interest directors? Who are they? Lo and behold, sorry, lo and behold, the public, the sorry. public interest directors include Mr. Dick Spring, late of this parish, uh, Mr. Joe Welsh, late of the Fianna Fáil party, and Mr. Ray McSweeney. Now, have, have, you, have, you asked, have you asked these public interest directors who are there to protect the public interest? Why haven't you asked them? Do we have your question? Do you intend to call the banks into the Economic Management Council? Or is it just a matter, once again, Taoiseach, of bringing your hands and saying that you can do nothing? Thank you. Or, as I put it, that you will do nothing about this particular sector? Taoiseach. Well, as, uh, as Deputy Quinn remarked, we treat banks differently than you did um, in the past. The, uh, the position here, Deputy Adams, is, as I said, this is an area that is not regulated. It is, a, it is an issue that government is in regular and constant contact with the regulator in the central bank. Uh, and on behalf of government, I have written to the regulator saying, if you require further powers or, uh, or more appropriate powers that you consider, the government will respond to that. It's not a case of saying the government won't do anything. It's a case of saying if the regulator needs, the regulator, if the regulator requires further um, further um, facilities the government will respond to that but this is not a case of where the government regulates the interest rates that are applicable to credit cards what i want to say to you again is this our job as government is to restore our economy to good health it's heading in that direction and for the first time in a number of years we've had three consecutive quarters of growth now, I, I, don't, I don't like this situation where the announcement was made by the bank applicable three or four days before Christmas. But that's, this, that, that's, this is a commercial entity, and they've made this choice. So uh, they made this decision. I say we will respond to the regulator who is completely independent if the regulator requires or requests government for further or more appropriate, uh, more appropriate powers. Where we want to be, Deputy Adams, is with an economy that's running well, an economy that's, that's, uh, that's growing, uh, that's growing in, in, um, in economic health, as it were, and that as a consequence, further competition comes into the market from those who, uh, who deal with credit cards. I suppose it's, I suppose it's, um, uh, it's, it's I repeat this on, on a regular basis, it's not easy for people not to run up bills on credit cards, um, and it, it's, it's a, a well-known fact that some people have run up extraordinary bills on credit cards, and these interest rates are high. Uh, and for P, you can advise people not to do that, and yet circumstances dictate that it happens. And clearly, the, uh, the MABS advice uh, service is well used and is available to everybody in terms of what happens here. Thank you. Um, but as I said here, it's not regulated by government. We're prepared to respond if the regulator requires, uh, requires further facilities um, or what he might consider as being more appropriate uh, powers to himself. Deputy Pringle.